Hi there, thanks for joining me. Another short video about my Elite Dangerous joystick build. Um, 3D printing a replica of the Elite Dangerous cockpit's joystick. So this is actually the one you see in the game. Um, yeah, if you saw my last video, I have reprinted this base. Originally it looked like this, with the joystick effectively two parts, left and right, and the yaw control, the uh, Z twist if you call it that. Uh, on a hall effect sensor and some magnets in the base. Trouble with this is it didn't leave enough space for the springs and it was making a lot of noise, it was very scratchy and horrible and I couldn't play like that. A lot of people in the comments were in the last video on Instagram and stuff were saying oh, that's too noisy, I couldn't play like that. Neither can I. I've redesigned it so we've got the base is now three parts. So this is the, the bottom of the stick and then the left and the right I haven't printed yet because they're 12 hour prints. Um, but yeah, so the hall effect sensor is mounted internally now and you know, this little signal wire will eventually go down here into the gimbal base where the Arduino Prime Micro over here that's currently breadboarded up will be based. I'm not going to take the base apart and show you it right now because if I do that it stops working. Um, but yeah, in game we've got really good control of the the yaw now. It springs back nice and you can see it just sort of, if I show you it here, this the springs just come in nice and cleanly. They don't make any noise either, they're nice and quiet, so and then in game you can see it's just nice and fluid and then Hall effect sensors give us a lot of control now what's cooking under the hood here this is actually a base designed by a guy called Jake over at realrobots.net he's doing a lot of work on 3D printed modular sticks so thanks Jake he's real helpful he's a real nice guy so go and go over there and take a look at his stuff but we've got a spherical bearing at the bottom of the, well, the top of the assembly here. Um, this allows us to pivot the entire stick, and these springs give us some feedback. And then we've got a Hall effect sensor there, and a Hall effect sensor there. That's what's picking up the motion. And the, these two little gimbal housing points have two magnets located inside them. If you're interested in building your own, all of the models, the files, the Gerber files, the 3D models, the STL files, everything. I'm putting on a GitHub repository for this, and I'll probably link to that on a Thingiverse as well eventually. Uh, it's still a work in progress, so if you download it and print it and it doesn't work, don't blame me because I haven't figured it all out yet. Um, but yeah, this is a we've got a real nice control of this stick here. It's got a lot of accuracy because of that 3D Hall effect sensors there and the 3D printed mounts for them means we've got it's a nice gimbal design. Um, still to be printed. I need to print the well, the rest of the stick for starters, and then the top of the stick will have this um, button panel here with a flick switch on a Hall effect sensor, targeting button, next button, combat analysis mode flick switch, hat switch, another hat switch here, and of course the triggers, and they're all going to be backlit with LEDs. So um, yeah, if you're into this sort of thing, keep watching. Um, yeah, and I'll try and post some more stuff soon. Thanks.